680's Richard Southern joins us now. Hello, Richard. Hey, Cynthia. How are you? Great. You? Not too bad. Well, it appears, okay, I'm not going to be great after this conversation. It appears the divide between the rich and the poor has never been so great. Well, the conversation I'm worried about is the parents, but let's talk about the divide first. Yeah, absolutely. This new report out from Oxfam, Cynthia, and it found two Canadians have as much wealth as the bottom 30, 40 percent of the country. Take a look at this. It's David Thompson, whose family owns Thompson Reuters, and Galen Weston Sr. They have as much money as 11 million Canadians. Wow. David Isn't that something? David Thompson, sin with a net worth of just over 27 billion. Galen Weston Sr. with a net worth of 10.4 billion. Oxfam says the gap between the very rich and the very poor is uh, far greater than it was just a few years ago. Take a look at this. In 2015, the 80 richest people owned as much as the world's poorest half. In 2016, it was 62 people. This year, just eight people owning as much as the world's poorest half. So that's incredible. And that's half of the world's wealth city in the hands of eight men. They include Michael Bloomberg and uh, Bill Gates. Oxfam says this type of inequality is trapping hundreds of millions in poverty and it's fracturing societies. They're calling on a government to do a number of things uh, to improve it, including uh, taxes on uh, wealth and taxes on the very rich. But some staggering statistics there, Sen. Staggering, and it doesn't seem that it's going to change. It's just going to possibly get worse. Yeah, and uh, that's not going to be a very good economically because when you get the a lot of money in the hands of few people like that, there's there's no money left to uh, drive economies. So that's a big issue. Interesting. Okay, and parents can say they have no money, and you can attest to this. So can I. Having kids are not cheap. A new report is looking at what it costs to raise a child. Don't tell me. I'm afraid to hear. <laughs> it is big money. Uh, Two hundred and thirty-three thousand. Cynthia for a middle-income family uh, to raise a child born in 2015 to the age of 18 233 plus thousand and that's not in counting university or college uh, yeah there is that little university thing which mm -hmm. of course is more and more expensive now housing was the largest expense at 29 percent of the cost food prices are set to rise again in 2017 that's costly news for parents of teen boys it's estimated that the monthly cost of feeding a boy between the age of 14 and 18 is 311 bucks girls in the same age group 223 dollars and the cost of raising a child sin has outpaced inflation. That's partly owing to money spent on clothing, which tends to fluctuate based on fashion trends. So that's big money, all right. That I is big I, money. I'm happy I don't have any kids right now because ah, uh, that's huge. Don't let it huge stop money. yet. It's still worth it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, a Toronto based company has reinvented the hospital gown. This sounds interesting. This is an interesting story because, you know, those hospital gowns, they haven't really changed much over the years, those blue uh, no, hospital No, they're horrible. Gowns. <laughs> they are. Um, and this company is called Gift Gowns. And look at some of these. They're, they're funky. Uh, they've revamped the hospital gown. Um, they still allow for patients to have tubes and monitoring equipment attached, which, of course, is the, the, you know, the real function of the hospital gown. But there's some fun slogans on the front. They're a better quality material. Uh, they're not cheap. They sell for $50 online. They're also available in the gift shops at St. Mike's Hospital, Toronto General, and St. Joseph Health Center. I like that. I think yeah. that's great. Bring some individuality back when, when you're not feeling so great. Absolutely. All right. Old school records are hot again. Richard, is vinyl back? Vinyl is back, and it's not just a fad. I mean, we've heard this story the past couple of years that people are buying records again, but uh, it is not slowing down. Vinyl is on track to become a billion dollar industry in 2017 for the first time since the 80s. Vinyl sales were up 26% year on year in 2016. We're going to see double digit growth again this year. An estimated 40 million records will be sold. Sin, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, and you always save your best stories for last. <laughs> Here we go. It's a high tech com commode. Commode? Yes. Mode. It's a toilet, Cynthia. It's a toilet. It, it's <laughs> That's not, a fancy word for toilet. Cheap. You have the most expensive consumer toilet in the world. Yeah, and it's a high-tech commode, all right. It's called the Neo <laughs> Rest 750. It uh, has all sorts of innovative features. The, the lid automatically opens when you approach it. It automatically closes when you walk away. The seat itself is heated, and it contains uh, two stainless steel spray nozzles. There's a built-in dryer for your delicate areas. There's a, de <laughs> a deodorizer to get rid of unpleasant smells, and the, the toilet the toilet itself remembers your daily routine and automatically mists the bowl before and after use. There's a UV light to clean it. $10,000 though, Cynthia, for this toilet. $10,000 so for a toilet. Wow. Yeah. It's catching on here in North America. They're big in some Asian countries. So there you go. Really? High tech commode. Very good. <laughs> All right, Richard. Thank you very much. Thanks, Cynthia.